Funding Month, presented with Oracle for Startups and American Express, recognizes the stories, lessons learned, and best practices shared by founders and funders around the world. Hello, everyone. Just to do a quick check, if you can't hear us for some reasons, just feel free to use the comment box and you know let us know when, when we need to increase our, our voice. And uh, if you have any questions, ensure to, to use the Q&A section of the platform so that our speaker can get to them by the end of, of, of the event. And uh, yeah, hi, Miska, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, how, it's how, a pleasure. How do you feel like so far for this event? No, I'm so excited about seeing people at the real place. So, so ev hi, everybody behind the screens. <laughs> uh, we are here live now. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, uh, we are starting the fireside chat now. And just a quick disclaimer, it will be recorded. So we'll send you also the video in case you want to go back to it at any point in time. Uh, my name is Kelvin, and I'm the director for Startup Grand Helsinki. Today, I'm going to be the host for this fireside chat. And with me here, I have our amazing, lovely, experienced speaker, Miska, who will be telling us a lot more about you know international investment, international funding, because our startup grind uh, this month is our funding month. So the same thing that is ha happening here now is happening across our 600 plus cities in the world. So we bring like founders, investors, people who are experienced in fundraising to come and share their experience so our community can learn from that. All right, uh, with that being said, I would like to make a, a quick intro about our speaker, just to give a bit of a background. Uh, Miska is the CEO of our Helsinki Business Hub. And he has been in this uh, in, in investment field for quite a long time. So he has a lot of experience with you know, international investment, helping local for founders to get international investment. So he will be sharing all of this experience with us, which means you should, uh, you know, if you need to grab a coffee or you need to grab a water, just sit tight and ensure that you stay with us to the end of the event, because he has a lot that he's gonna be sharing with us today. And if you have any questions, like, like, like I said before, feel free to use the Q&A section, drop in your question, and the speaker would uh, just go through the questions, uh, maybe during the fireside chat or at the end. Okay, with that being said, uh, let's, get, let's get down to business. <laughs> uh, so, Miska, if you can tell us a bit about your background. I mean, before you joined the Helsinki Business Hub, you know, what, you know, what was your career path like and what were you doing back then? I actually uh, stumbled upon the whole star startups and, and the whole of this, this idea of value creation during my studies. Mm -hmm. So I was in a, in a business school and, and I had a management account, accounting as, as my, my kind of like major. And, and then I kind of turned to the dark side. So I, I joined the VC company, which is kind of like not very typical during, during the 90s in Finland because the whole VC industry was just about to start over here. Mm -hmm. And then, then, then I kind of started understanding what is this all about. And, and of course, the startup culture in, in Finland was not really, it has been evolved over the past decades or so. And, and it, it has grown. And, and my role has changed from various different companies. I've been with the corporates. I've been kind of like sourcing and, and finding new tech, tech companies and finding those, those type of like how to, how does the corporate actually kind of like get these, get these startup, startup technologies in place and put those in, in volume. Then I, I have been kind of like participating as a, as, a, as a VC from investment expert committee perspective and, and really looking at that, how, how do you kind of make these 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 deals and and how, how do you actually make make money from VC perspective as as well, mm. and then then I I've been kind of like wondering this this whole whole area around the startup culture and, and and seeing how it has been evolving and how especially during the past uh, ten years or so when the slush started and when when Helsinki really started picking up the pace in 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 in, in the international environment as a startup hub and I think we are really good on good track on on that one. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've had the pleasure of, of being seen for, from so many different sides, and 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 now currently with, with HBH, I'm, I'm I'm really kind of like seeing it really from the inside, and really kind of like what kind of product do we have, and, and what does it look like from international investor perspective, and it's mm -hmm. a, it's really interesting, and it's really really kind of like a, also interesting times, also during these COVID times that, that we are able to kind of like cope, and then if you look at the figures. Helsinki is doing so great. We are so many investments over here. I think we are, we are doing so, so many good things over here. Yes. Wow. That's uh, like your, 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 your background with your experience. I, I even get more excited to, you know, deep, deep into this fireside chat and just to learn 
you know, all of the things that you've been doing within the past years. Because, of course, like, like you just said, it's not just about the Helsinki business of you also had the, the, the prior experience. But uh, I think uh, for now, if we can talk a bit about like your role in Helsinki Business Hub. So as the CEO of Helsinki Business Hub, like what does it entail? You know, what do you do more on a daily basis? Yeah. So, so we have a team of about 30, 30 really talented individuals in, in our team and they are helping the foreign customers and they both be in the, the companies or the, or the CVs or VCs or CVCs looking at the opportunities in Helsinki to invest more and fi finding those those as well as the, the, the foreign talent looking at Helsinki as, as a place to be and where to work. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we do have really great team on, on working on these topics. And of course, like my my work work as, as a CEO is really to help these individuals to actually succeed in their really challenging work. And, and what I try to do is kind of help them, coaching them and giving them the opportunities, giving them kind of like the, the ideas where to go further and, and so on and so forth. And and, and ultimately, ultimate it's really about the serving this, this, this community of, of people. And I, I think we have a great team and, and they, they are doing just great. So, so I, I think I might be doing something right as well. <laughs> nice. That's, that's, that's really good to hear. Would you consider, like, are you also uh, an, an investor yourself or you just help the startups to get international investment? At, at the moment, kind of like being employed by publicly funded organizations. So I, I don't think that I can be a direct investor for the... Mm. For, for this type of like a seed or, or, or startup rounds, but I would like to be, but perhaps that's the kind of like the next step in my career that I, I might be doing, doing something like that. But, mm -hmm. but I, I was still kind of having this background of working as a, as a, uh, as a, as a VC and, and seeing things from that perspective is, is really kind of like helping because then you are looking at the, all of these deals and what's happening and, and what are the kind of like valuations of different companies and how to structure those, those deals. So, of course, I'm I'm looking also always from investor perspective as, as well. But at the at the moment, kind of my hands are a bit tied on on that one, and mm. and I, I don't I don't want to be kind of like a, in a position where we would be kind of like a, somebody would, would think that I, I have biased on or something. But in, in general, what we are looking at is really kind of helping this Helsinki and bringing that on on the map and we're helping the local startup ecosystem. Mm. Beautiful. Okay, uh, I think that's a. a like enough ab about you of course if the audience have some interesting questions about you in person they can also drop in the chat but now i think uh we can go over to helsinki B business hub let's dive deep you know in terms of what you do and all of that so uh what what role does helsinki uh, uh business hub play in the startup ecosystem in finland well, I, I think that the, our role is really bringing the international angle. And, and, and as, as I said previously, our customers are really the foreign companies or the individual talent or, or the investors outside Finland looking at the opportunities. And we are really there to help them on finding these opportunities. We market about these opportunities. We tell about these opportunities. We match make people and companies and, and so on and so forth. Mm. And I think think that's that's really kind of what we ultimately do is bring in the international angle, bring in the investments and then trying to make sure that that there's there's enough uh, interest towards this uh, this ecosystem and 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 way how we are seeing ourselves uh, or measuring ourselves is really we are looking at the number of jobs mm -hmm. last year we we were able to kind of like get 539 jobs from 25 different companies who actually came over here and mm -hmm. and some of the companies are started some of them them are really kind of like a R and D offices of the of the corporates and, and so on and so forth, but that's 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 really kind of gives us the satisfaction of kind of like getting something really concrete done, and of course like that brings tax money for for the for the cities and and the local economy and so on. But in addition, we we brought in in seventy five million euros of investments from from wow. VCs and CVCs, and, and that's. Yeah. Kind of matchmaking, telling these these uh, these uh, investors on what they are really kind of understand what they are looking for, and then kind of like giving them a deal for what they are really looking for, and ultimately they start finding the opportunities, and they, they get kind of like exposed to this ecosystem, and and, and they they make these investments. So I think that's really really valuable work what we do, and 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 as as, a, as something what we do as as well, we help them, we get to see companies and people and we tell them about these opportunities in Helsinki sometimes it might be that they might be looking at the technologies that you might have have, have this type, this and that type of solution that you are really looking for and, and we do know what's going on over here so so we are able to match make those and we are able to tell tell the story that hey there's this, this interesting company you should really need those and and through that we actually actually match make the deals so so and and 
And, and then we help the foreign companies, typically startups, to actually pilot their solution over here. Because the Helsinki is it's just an amazing place to actually pilot. There's so many piloting platforms over here. This is really kind of one of the best places in Europe, really kind of like a test and develop. And then you have the BTTs and Altos and all, all of the universities, which are really eager to kind of work with you. And as well as with, with the city, cities of Helsinki, Espoo and Vanta, they have really provided these platforms. So there's, there's plenty of companies who actually come here to kind of like explore these piloting opportunities. They get exposed to the ecosystem and through that they actually get interested about this ecosystem. And I think that's really, really valuable uh, work that we do. And, and, and mm -hmm. last year, I think it was 14 different deals and pilots we were able to match make with, between the people. So it's 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 there's so many different kind of metrics what we are looking for, but but still what we are ultimately looking for is kind of developing this this ecosystem, developing the econo economic development over here and making as international as possible because that's that's really how you create the value. Mm -hmm. You you you've actually made mention of a lot of services because I thought that Helsinki Business Hub it's more of I know bringing the international investment which I know that you do, but you also made mention of a lot of other services like uh, helping other startups or companies to establish in Finland. Yep. So do you mind like uh, giving us let's say a highlight like what are the services that Helsinki Business Hub offers to startups, both uh, lo locally and in internationally yeah i think it's really starting starting with the customer definition so so first of all we do help the foreign companies so company who have, have not really realized that hey perhaps i should actually consider finland or helsinki as, as a place to be mm -hmm. and we we are pretty good on understanding what they are really looking for and we are kind of helping them on matchmaking what kind of service providers what kind of partners what what kind of like a piloting opportunities or even office spaces like like this one over here so so like mm -hmm. all of this which we can actually tailor made for them and then giving them the kind of like a tour of helsinki before they they even even kind of like are considering helsinki and I, I think that's that's really one of the kind of key services what, what we are able to bring in is is to be the guides of this helsinki ecosystem for the, for the companies and the people who are really exploring kind of like options where to actually land, mm. and 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 ultimately that's 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 the similar kind of thing what we do with the, with the foreign investors. So we are really looking for and provide them personalized deal flow that that what they are really looking for, and that makes them their life much more easier because mm. it's not so easy. You get the best deals by knowing the ecosystem. You get the best contacts by knowing the ecosystem, and. Mm. We are here to help help on on any 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 foreign investors or companies or or, or who's really look, look, wants to wants to know what what are the opportunities in Helsinki and then feel free to contact us and we are we are kind of like eager to actually kind of match make you with the with the with the whole, whole ecosystem and I, I think that's in in principle the easiest way how to describe different services what what we do but ultimately we connect the dots so so you start start with the dot and then then you kind mm -hmm. of like find find those opportunities. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's really be like be beautiful indeed. So, for some of the startups or entrepreneurs that are w w watching us outside of Finland, well, you also have an opportunity to come and start your company here in Finland or move your company that is already in some other countries, you know, because uh, like like he said, you know, Helsinki Business Hub helps you get all this international investment, which we are coming to talk about uh, in a moment. But just so 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 you know, they, they also help like startups and companies to get their feet in in Finland and uh, help you get rolling. So yeah. that's uh, something good to know. Uh, so how how do you in, in terms of practicalities, like how do you like support these startups in Finland to get international investments? Yeah. So so yeah, first of all, I said that we help the foreign foreign kind of like uh, VCs and CVs to find something, but. Well, our product is really the local startups and and what would you what we have over here and, and of course like what we would like to see that they are able to really kind of like attract these foreign investors mm -hmm. and and how we how we have seen it is, is the kind of local ecosystem local startups are really the product what we have in, in place mm -hmm. and we are we are eager on, on helping the product to actually become much much better so we have had had this type of like a pitching session so especially during these times we have been this this type of like a virtual pitching session repeat or different companies where they can actually match make with the international investors and and while preparing for those events uh, we have been really happy having this type of like a pre pre session where we help the, the local companies to actually pitch their story a better way know what they what kind of value what they have actually because I think that's one of the 
one of the challenges with with, with the local startups is, is, is really that, that they understand the name of the game that how does these international VCs how do they actually value the companies and how do, how does that that game work and, and sometimes we have to tell them that you should really consider that you might be a bit more valuable than than, than you are actually at the moment pitching and, and so on so so helping them understanding what what does it actually uh, look from international VC perspective what they are really looking for what kind of kind of like a kind of like a learnings we have on 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 matchmaking these deals and I, I think that's that's one of the kind of like the values that that we can bring in for the local ecosystem because we, we bring in the international investors as well as our expertise of kind of how to make those deals happen and I, I think that that's that's one one thing how we can help and ultimately there's so many different players in in this field over here you have the Nuco Helsinki which is great on on kind of like helping the startups to actually kind of like find the first hurdles and really really have great teams and, and, and really help help with each other. So, mm-hmm. and, and then you have all of these different ecosystem players. And uh, for example, Health Capital Helsinki is doing great in, in, in developing this health ecosystem over here and, and so on and so forth. So there's a plenty of diff- different different players. And of course, like once we hear and, and uh, let kind of know about different companies, we can actually match make to those and, and, and we can kind of like a, give that, that type, of, type of like a service for them that, that, hey, I know this company or this organization or this person that you should actually meet. And it's, it's easy for us, us to kind of navigate in this, in this ecosystem from that perspective. Nice, nice. That's, that's really good to know. But in, in terms of the, like the startup you work with, uh, is, is there like some sort of uh, like category? Do you work with, let's say, pre-seed startups or seed or scale-ups? Do you have some kind of uh, range or metric to use to work with startups? Yeah, we have typically when we have actually started kind of like this type of like activity, which we call investor services, where we help the foreign investors to find the opportunities over here. We have been focusing on one million plus uh, euro kind of like rounds, uh, where you typically companies are rounds A and B and, and so on and so forth. And 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 the reason reason for that logic has been that that if you are an international uh, investor, you, you you are not kind of like put a, a small tickets in in a place where you don't know too much about. Because mm. what we are really trying to find these investors who are not all, all already really active in this market, and and typically these are the ones who are who are make, making rather big deals and and, and and really kind of like having. Uh, plenty of those mm-hmm. but having, having said that we have identified gaps always you, you start kind of like figuring out that hey there might be a gap and, and especially in, in seed fi, fi, seed funding there's this really good opportunity we have the fiban over here which i think they are doing great mm-hmm. but getting more of this international uh, seed funding would be really great and, and for that reason we launched a, a program last year for 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 these seed investors on kind of helping the foreign seed investors find the opportunities over here. And I'm really happy that we have seen the first results already, and perhaps we are we are seeing more of those. So so that's that's something in, in terms of the volume and, and numbers, what we how we kind of like measure ourselves ourselves against uh, uh, is is it's not that significant. But I think that the value is is that, that once you have this stuff like a startup which have international seed investments mm-hmm. and once they kind of pick up the uh, they, they are kind of like working and they become much more interesting and much more kind of valuable and ultimately they, they actually might be much more uh, effective uh, on, on raising funds in the future as well so so more we have this type of like a uh, foreign investment money in these startups and as early as possible it's it's much more uh, better for for them in the, in the long run as well because it's not just money it's the connections and, and so on mm-hmm. nice all right. Uh, for I think I have my last question about uh, Helsinki Business Hub. Before we move into the international funding, you know <laughs> what to look out for, how it works, and all of those fun stuff. You know, uh, what, what, what are like the current projects that uh, Helsinki Business Hub is uh, in, engaging at this moment? Well, personally, I'm I'm actually very much involved in in uh, in, in a project where. We are, we are kind of like the city of Helsinki is about, about to launch a Helsinki Partners, which is a merger of Helsinki Business Hub as well as Helsinki Partners and mm-hmm. no, 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 Helsinki, uh, Helsinki Marketing. And, and it, I think that's really great because we have Helsinki Marketing who has been doing the city marketing of Helsinki and then we have Helsinki Business Hub which has been serving the international uh, companies and, and investors. And, and mm-hmm. while when, when we combine the, all of this together, I think it's going to be much more effective and it's going to be a really great opportunity for to put, kind of put Helsinki on, on a map mm. that hey we are here we are really kind of like uh, help helping the help helping the investors and, and startups to actually really make it big over here and I, I think mm-hmm. we, it's going to be really a step change and then during the 
let's say during the fall, it, it's going to be kind of like public and, and you, you'll get to see what's happening. And, and next slush, I hope that it's going to be a real slush like, like this. And there's going to be real slush com coming from the, from, from, from the sky as, as, as well. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it's going to be launched at least over, over there. You, you, I think it's going to be really great. So, so Helsinki is doing great on, on developing these type of like initiatives and making it even more interesting and, and, and really telling the story story globally that, hey, we are here and it's a really great place to be. And, and, and there's, there's so much people who can actually help to make the business over here. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that's some uh, insider information <laughs> that you give us. <laughs> yep. That's good. So stay, stay tuned and, yeah. and follow, follow us. On, kind of like a, you, you, you get get to know during the fall much more. But it, it's going to be a really great opportunity. Mm -hmm. But uh, in terms of the branding, of course, if you are at liberty to say these two, like Helsinki Marketing and Helsinki Business Hub, when the merge happens, will there still be two separate entities, or it will become one? We'll will become one called one Helsinki, Helsinki, Helsinki Partners, and Helsinki Partners yeah. is a so great name you, mm. because you can partner up with Helsinki, and it's it's, it's some, something which tells about the, the kind of like culture and, and feeling about these areas as well. So so you can really kind of like a, we, we start becoming Helsinki Partners, and it's 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 it's, it's the brand how we are kind of like seeing in, in this ecosystem and also i think one of one of the kind of like a great things about having establishing a new brand that we can actually make the case already on in this local ecosystem much more better mm. uh, traditionally we we have been both really focused on kind of like international customers or, or media and, and so on so so it has not been in a, in a local context people are not recognizing us that much mm -hmm. During the last year, when, when we were kind of like in this phase that, that nobody's able to travel and everybody's working on the kind of online and, and we have all of these webinars and, and so on. So, so I think we got much more kind of like interest from the local ecosystem as, as well, because they kind of realized, that, hey, these guys are actually doing something really interesting where we can actually let, let these international investors know that, hey, we are here, we are doing things and, and so on. Because typically we used to actually work abroad from Finland in, in, in different places like, like uh, conferences and, and so on, where you can actually ta have tailor made, made kind of like a small, small, small uh, events and, and so on. So now we have been really kind of like much more open and online what, what do we actually do. And, and, and having having this opportunity of, of kind of like uh, Helsinki investing more in these activities and making a new brand and making new opportunities, I, I think it's it's going to be really really great for and especially for the local ecosystem as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. One uh, one question that just came to my head uh, is, is is not on what we have here. In terms of like the startups and the businesses in Helsinki or in in in, 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 in Finland, when you do this merging, like uh, are you going to be open to let's say accepting some projects from some of these startups that want to implement some things that are within Helsinki also well I think yes and, and, and ultimately what, what, what we do is, is we really do know what's going on inside this, this area and, and, and every information we have about kind of ecosystem or the piloting opportunities or the or the kind of how to work with the local cities mm -hmm. and, and so on. Of course, we we share that information. It's 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 really something in, in our kind of like culture and, and DNA that 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 we do know quite a lot about this 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 area and and we are eager to help because mm. ultimately that actually gives us value as as well because yes. more we are able to kind of like give for this community, more they are actually giving us and more more we are able to kind of sell the sell the this place in in a better way and and, and it's it it really kind of is a positive circle from that from from. Uh, for all of us, and uh, that's that's really great opportunity, and that's that one of the things and beauty of, of working in this field that you get to give quite a lot for the for the local community as well. Yeah. That's that's beautiful. So for like for the startups and entrepreneurs that are w watching us in Helsinki or in Finland, you have a lot of like resources at your disposal. You know, of course, today's topic is about funding and international investment, which we are going into in about a, a second. But just so, so you know, if you if you need some sort of resource or support or whatsoever, like Helsinki Business Hub have a lot, which I know that a lot of startups don't even know that it, it, it exists. So feel free to to reach out to Miska after the event, check out their website, just check what you can be benefit from the city. You know, the resources are there. So why not just make use of it? You know. All right. Uh, thank thank you so much for the detailed. Uh, explanation and uh, about the Helsinki Business Hub. Now we'll go over to international funding because you've been in this field for how how many years now? 
5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20 plus. 25 years, I guess. Oh my God, that's huge. <laughs> yeah. So we, we really want to, you know, pick your brain in terms of from your experience, how it's been working and what you are going to be able to, to recommend to, to the startups. So my first question around this is, what's your general thought about international investment? Is this something that you recommend to startups or do you feel like, yeah, you guys should keep it local, get local investors and move on? Like, what's your general thought or p opinion around this? I, I definitely would st strongly suggest that, that really get the international investment as early as possible and get those guys or investors on board and, and really, really kind of like utilize their, their expertise, connections, uh, everything what they have, because, because that's really easy way of kind of getting yourself exposed to the international markets. Mm. You have somebody who actually has a stake in you and has, has really kind of keen interest on, on making the local the, the company really great. Mm -hmm. so, so you have really kind of like the opportunity of working with these guys on, on, on taking your company to the different markets and, and, and finding the people who are able to help you on different markets because they might know much more better who to contact and, and how to deal with the business and, and, and so on. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, I think it's, it's really crucial when you are building big companies or, or kind of really valuable companies, you should mm -hmm. always keep, you have this global mindset and, and once, once you have the global mindset, you really need to think about kind of how do you reach out and, and how, what other kind of ways how you can actually get help. So it's not really about the money. Mm. Of course, like uh, there might be some investors who have really deep pockets, and that they might be able to kind of like keep on continuing the story together with you on on while you're actually making really kind of towards a really big exit. Mm -hmm. And 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 sometimes I, I've been thinking that the local VCs in Finland, perhaps we haven't seen too many of, of cases where they actually take companies in a really big manner. That you have have a kind of like a, a really big valuations, and and perhaps some of the kind of like foreign investors have this experience, and they have the patience sometimes and they know how to build great companies mm -hmm. they know how to support the founder they know how to how to kind of like push them and 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 give them kind of like a context how to make it big in us or how to make it big in china and, and so on. and i think in, in general that that's really option i would take as a startup entrepreneur that, that hey i would really kind of like think about investors as a partners it's not mm -hmm. just about the money but it's also the, about the partners who can help you on on finding this and realizing the potential you have and in your ideas and, and just go for it because and of course like you need local investors uh, the, the the vc community works in 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 rather close ties so, so of course there has to be somebody rather close to you mm -hmm. who knows what's going on inside the company and can perhaps interpret what's happening in in finland and, and so on if, if something really interesting happen, happens for the foreign investors as, as well but but do keep in mind that you, the foreign investors are actually really valuable asset, not just the money, but also the kind of expertise and a level of kind of like a connections they can actually bring in to you. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really deep. So it's not basically about the money. Also, it's more of, you know, the connection and how, because like you said, the external investors or the international investors, they somehow they might have been able to build big companies in the past or they, they have helped other companies to, maybe scale or go big. So they will give you the money for sure. But they also give you, you know, other experience like helping you go abroad, go to a new market, scale, give you all this advice and stuff that you might somehow not get from the local investors, right? Because, yeah. yeah. Some of these international pieces, they actually actually have offices in, in different places. Mm -hmm. And and what they are using, like in a, in a similar manner that office we are over here. So, so they are actually kind of invite the local, let's say local or, or startups what they have invested in, in, in different places. And, and, and you can actually start building up the sales team of, of the US West Coast or East Coast in their offices. And, and then mm -hmm. once you actually start fi finding the first, first sales, then you can actually find your own office space and so 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 they are really eager of kind of pushing you towards the the, the places where, where you should be actually going for and I, I think that's really really great and the beauty of, of that is because their interest is aligned to really grow the value of the company as mm -hmm. fast as possible and, and you should really consider that hey let's let's make it together and let's keep on pushing together mm -hmm. and and it's it uh, that's the that's the kind of like the, the value what they can bring in and I, I think you should really be exploring that nice nice Okay, I think uh, we'll take a quick break to check what the od od audience are saying in case there are some qu questions already. Let's see. Oh, wow, there are a lot of questions. <laughs> okay, uh, 
So we can just take some questions from the audience now before we continue with what we have on our list, okay? I will go straight to the Q&A. Uh, one second. Natalia, she asked, she's the major of uh, Helsinki Business Hub and Helsinki Marketing is right moving forward. I'm looking forward to it. How Helsinki, how Helsinki will position itself compared to competitors? Greater Copenhagen versus Copenhagen capacity, for instance. How will Helsinki position itself compared to other competitors like Copenhagen? Yeah. I, first of all, kind of there's, there's this type of like, like a municipal elections are coming in, in, in Finland now and then new, new Helsinki city strategy will be launched in, I think, in August. And of, of course, like that has something to do with, with the kind of like how does the Helsinki want to position itself. And mm -hmm. of, of course, like a, we as, as, a, as a kind of like a company owned by the city of Helsinki are, are following that. But in principle, what, what you are thinking, when you think about kind of like backwards, that Helsinki has, has been really developing this startup ecosystem, pushing for, for, for this, this type of like ecosystem and making, putting that on a map. And I think that will definitely continue. And you will see more and more this type of like, like interest coming in and it creates value. It creates this type of like international business environment for, for, the, for, the, for the startups to actually work in and more, more diversity in, in the teams and, and so on. So I, I think all of this and then look at the figures, how, how we have been actually being able to get the investments over here. Helsinki is, is getting there to be on, on a map on, on this kind of like you know, European startup hubs. You first of all, think about Berlin, perhaps then Tel Aviv and some other places. And I personally, this is not, not, not really kind of like any strategy, but I personally would like love to see that Helsinki put on a map as a number three startup hub in Europe. And that would be just great, really kind of like really stretch target for us. Mm -hmm. Being in, in a really small place, in, in far up north, but, but this would be really, really great achievement. And I think we have all of the ingredients in place. It will take some time, but we have been all, already going this journey for for past decade or so. So there's a good momentum of really real, realizing that the more we have these great startups are actually kind of like exiting and, and, and some of the people are, are going to be making massive amount of money mm -hmm. and they will keep, keep on investing in this, in this ecosystem. So we have the opportunity over there. Nice, nice. That's that's good to hear. We believe in what Helsinki <laughs> business of the scene. I That's my that. personal dream, but, but <laughs> I keep on working on that. But let's join me on that one. So everybody just feel free to actually join in this moment. Let's put Helsinki on a map. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, moving on. So uh, I think you you so, so somehow touched this this question, but just to ask, like, when should they start up? Typically, start looking for. Like uh, foreign investment, like is it like once you think about to raise fund, you should already start looking for foreign investment, or do you feel that maybe they should get a bit of traction, get some local investors before they are appealing enough for the foreign investors? It's, yeah, it kind of depends, but, but I would say that, that, that first of all, you should actually start from the beginning thinking about that. Hey, ultimately, I will be in a position where some international invest investor will come over here and ask me more about my company. So, so you should actually prepare all of the documents in English. You should be kind of like have the business plan in English. Really think about the global market from the beginning. So, so not 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 kind of like a, or being prepared for, for the international investment would be kind of first advice. And then, when the timing is right, so sometimes it might be in the in the seed phase. If you have a just brilliant idea or brilliant team, mm -hmm. you might be able to attract the foreign foreign seed investor. Might typically go that that you actually have to work with the local local let's say seed investors and local let's say business Finland funding and, and, and so on to actually kind of get some traction and get, get some proof that okay, this might be really interesting and there, there might be this opportunity and then you are able to find find the international investor mm. but but still I think it's it's really about kind of like making sure that you have the basics in, in place from the beginning and you have, you are thinking about that that, that that this is one of my goal as an entrepreneur that I would love to get international investor on board. Mm -hmm. And what I'm really looking for is, is, is not just money, but also the expertise. And then once you have been kind of like preparing yourself from that perspective, that you, you kind of like a, are much more ready for that. And, and, and from an international investor perspective, I think they will be just happy to find that, hey, this 
this bunch of guys they have really thought about everything so so mm. they they are really prepared and, and i don't have to coach them on all kind of just basic stuff i can really help them on doing the sales and marketing and business development and, and, and really push pushing them and on on being as efficient as possible mm -hmm. nice i i thought i saw a bunch of questions but i think <laughs> they were majorly comments yeah uh okay there's a there's another question now from natalia to what extent foreign investors are considering the talent pool available in the giving market knowing that finland is facing a shortage of talent does it play a crucial role in the investment decision well drafted question <laughs> hitting to the point <laughs> yes. and, uh, First of all, there's always gaps in, in finding the best possible talent and, and everybody all around the globe are looking for the best, best developers all the time. You, everybody knows that. But at the same time, when you think about kind of like the, the, the community we have in, in place over here in, in Helsinki, and especially in certain segments like, like in, in, a, in a gaming ecosystem or especially mobile gaming ecosystem, everybody knows that this is the place to be because mm -hmm. of the talent. And, same applies for so many different areas and and, and so, so so you can really kind of like work with the, with the talent and sometimes the talent is the is the key and and ultimately when i'm still thinking from investor perspective what they are really looking for is who are the founding members of this company who are the key key persons in this company mm. how motivated they are and what they are really kind of are these people are able to make it so it's, it's really about the talent mm. and talent avail availability is, is, is something that that I think that that's getting more and more, uh, let's say, the better over time and more international, which is really great. And we used to have have this start start founded by Finnish engineers talking talking only Finnish and 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 doing the ready-made product until they are able to make the make the first season and so on. And now we are seeing this really multicultural teams where you have some guys selling the product or the idea of it already from the beginning. Mm -hmm. and and more you have the stories like this and more you have examples and and of course like we we do provide quite a lot of this stuff about like a, uh, data about the talent pool over here and, and the talent pool is actually rather good and, and it's it's rather rather let's say efficient uh, on, on a global scale it's not really expensive to actually launch a, a r&d site over here mm -hmm. and, and it's, it's very efficient way way uh, and this is coming from corporate perspective that they are seeing that okay finland is actually rather a nice place to have r d and innovation activities and same applies for the startups and and then you have have this this ecosystem which is constantly evolving and attracting more people and, and something what we have been doing as, as well as is inviting the foreign talent to actually come come over here and in the future i think we will do so much more about this this activity and and people people will, will be kind of finding this this so, so Talent is really important, but at the same time, I, I think we have a really good positive story about the talent as well. Nice. That's good to know. Okay, we have another question from Larynx. Uh, he, he wants to know how are the tax laws with regards to early stage startup? I think you 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 managed to convince some people to come to Finland. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's from uh, Kenya, and I think probably he's thinking, okay, yeah. I was thinking, let's go. So, how is it like tax? <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually like, how are the tax laws with regards to early stage startup? Yeah, I, I think that the, the tax laws are. I, I think this is, this is one thing about Finnish society. So, so there's no really kind of like a. Uh, this is not a tax haven, but but this is really working society and mm -hmm. a really reliable working society where, where you can actually kind of start building up, building up the companies and and and. It's not that on, on a let's say on, on a global scale. I think the tax is not really issue, and and it somehow I also see that the Finnish tax authorities are something that uh, several of people who have not been exposed to that they are really surprised about how nice they are and how they are able to help you on kind of how do you actually actually kind of make the uh, kind of taxation and, and how 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 to kind of like under, understand the, the, you as as a customer and it's it's really interesting if you compare to some other places in, in the world, so so tax is not perhaps it's it's really competitive the taxation level over here but at the same time you can't negotiate anything with the taxes like in so many different places you might be able to negotiate if I invest one million I can actually get some tax redemptions and, and so you mm. can't do that in Finland but at the same 
you should really kind of like take that as a, as a, as a something that, that uh, there might be some other angles to it. Mm-hmm. And having said that, so so then uh, it's not always about the taxes. It, it, sometimes it's it's about how does the government actually support your your startups. And I think we have really good place with the Visa Finland funding, and really they have really great kind of like uh, instruments how you are able to kind of like uh, share the risk with the public financier. Mm-hmm. And that helps quite a lot of companies to actually kind of come to here and really start start kind of like exploring the opportunities, exploring the market, and and developing the, their solution and and getting some some funding also from from the from the public side as, as well, which is kind of like a matchmaking that. So so you might be you might actually end up paying taxes when you're actually ma- making some positive profits, mm-hmm. but the way over there is is somehow help, help with the society. So I think you will be happy taxpayer for for that for that you're kind of giving back back something as as well. Yeah. So don't worry about the taxes. Just bring your company here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we will let you know oh, no, no, no. how how to make it, and it's 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 not that bad actually. Mm. Okay, uh, we can get back to the questions from the audience uh, b- before we close the fireside chat. Back to international funding. Uh, in terms of the the metrics that all these foreign investors look out for, like what what are like more like the repeating metrics or questions or concern that the, the foreign investors look out for before they make their decision on which startup to invest in? Uh, of course, I, I think one thing what, what they are really looking for is, is the team. And I, I, that, that has always been the case. This was the, the first, when I, when I kind of like get, got exposed to this, this uh, venture capital as, as a business and, and when I kind of realized that, that it's not really about the business plan, it's not really about, about kind of like those ideas, but it's really about the team. Of course, like mm-hmm. a brilliant teams have typically brilliant ideas and they are able to kind of like, a, once they find, find a problems, they'll find solutions. And that's the reason why, why VC investment is, is really about kind of like uh, investing in people and, and really finding the best possible talent best possible teams and sometimes even even kind of like uh, developing teams that that you can actually bring in certain people you buy some of the some of the VCs are bringing in uh, good ideas for the CEOs and, and so so they, they are able to help on on developing this enough diversity in the team and, and really, really good ex- expertise in the teams and I think that's that's something that uh, that when when I've seen this type of like a business plans of, of, of the startups that, that they are not really are able to, they are really focused on products and, mm-hmm. and, and what they are doing and what's the market and market product market fit and all of that but they are not really totally talking about the team and I, th- I think this is one, one, one learning point that I would like to do take that into consideration that, that it's really the biggest value especially if it's the early startup is the, is the really founding team like what kind of people you have in, over there and, and are these the people who are able to make this multi-billion dollar company? And, and is it really credible? So, so you have to be able to kind of make the story that these are the, exactly the right people. They have the expertise, they have the kind of motivation, they have the capabilities of delivering something really big. And this is this would be the story I would look uh, being an international visa that, hey, there might be something in, in this. They might be coming from from country far away from from me, but they have really interesting team and really interesting concept what they are about to launch. And this this opportunity, let's let's grab on that one. Mm-hmm. So more 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 emphasis on the team. Yeah, before and, and, the and, and, idea and yeah. the business they are working on. Of course, you need to have to have a great idea, but but for every great idea, there's there's so many teams all around the world working on similar kind of topics, mm. and where you actually make the differences is sell your team and, and make it visible that this is the team which mm-hmm. will make it happen nice well that's a good takeaway for me also <laughs> <laughs> all right uh in terms of uh preparation you know like what 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 should like startups do when they they decide to you know get on board international in, in investors what are what are the things that they need to know and what are the things that they need to prepare for of course the typical stuff like like having the business uh, business plans and 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 the kind of like pitch decks in in place but but something that i would do as a, as a, as a kind of like entrepreneur i would actually really check the market of what has happened in in the market i'm in and and you can get from pitch book and other, other places you can see that what kind of deals they have, have been made and what are the values who, who has been active in, in in the market i'm in mm-hmm. and and how how these these international visas are, are kind of like a, seeing this market and and what's their behavior like because more more you have understanding about 
from international VC perspective that what does tax the market look like? I would like to invest in in certain technology or certain field. That mm. is it a really hot market where there has been so many deals made? Is it the market where Google is already kind of taking over 50% of, of the startups and, and, and everybody knows that, okay, if I invest in this area, there might be exit path for, for that, that company and mm. so on. So, so take, it, take it really think about kind of from, from if you look from outside mm. your company and, and how does that position in, in this type of like, like, like a market of startups? What's the valuation like? Are you I, is your valuation in a, in a similar ballpark than other, others? And another angle is, is the kind of like that, what is the exit path for mm-hmm. the for the investors? So 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 how do you how does your your thinking are kind of is it going to be trade sales or are you going to be taking an IPO route or, or how does that actually work? And, and do you have really good ideas? Because that's that's ultimately what the what the these type of like VCs are looking for is how to make money. And then they are kind of like investing in you to make money for them. So, <laughs> so, so you have to kind of provide them a clear understanding that hey, if you invest in us, this is the way how how this this will actually kind of like start generating money. And it's it's finding the op- exit opportunities and and develop, developing company at, at the right time in the right field. Sometimes you don't need too much even on on kind of like a. Having, having product market fit or even say is that, that if you just happen to have, be working on the right technology that Google is acquiring everything, that might be really reason for somebody to invest in you. And then you mm. start kind of like working towards that route. But but it's it's always the case. But do, they do get uh, understanding of, about the market you are in. Mm-hmm. And, and really kind of like it's not just about market of products, but market of companies, market of investment opportunities. And how, how does that actually look like from investor perspective? Mm. Wow, that's really an interesting way to look at it, you know, <laughs> having the exit in mind while you are starting. Yeah, so you can already show the investors the big picture. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And and, and, and that's the only reason why uh, this is a bit of a secret. So so, <laughs> so only reason why, why, why VCs are in, in this business is to make money. So, so do think, <laughs> think about that they would, they would like to get see the exit in a in, in certain period of time. And, uh, Sooner or later, bigger, bigger the value, even better. Mm. Wow, that's that's really good to know. Okay, uh, so for Helsinki Business Hub, you basically have like a, a database of investors that you match with startups. Like, how how does this matching pro- process work in in like in practice? Yeah, this. This is something that we have been working quite a lot and it has has been we have been developing this type of like a startup database and and of course like if you have interesting startup which is and and you have you have really good pitching decks and and, and so on, so feel free to feel to kind of contact us because we will put you over there mm. and once i think we have like 1400 1500 different, different startups startups and their information in this database and it's it's really constantly of course evolving and 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 we, we we are trying to kind of like understand what's what's happening over over there, and and, and typically com- companies actually do contact us, and we have we have people who have been working in the, in the startup community, so so kind of getting that kind of information in, and I think that really helps us on 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 helping you guys, and 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 what we actually do with these international investors, that we ask them, that what are you looking for? What's the ticket size? What 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 are the kind of like areas you are interested in? And and what's the company company stage and and and, and so on. So we are able to provide them tailor made deal flow, mm. and that's the the beauty of, of of understanding this whole market and understand this ecosystem that that we can actually perhaps a bit of like a, do a cherry picking for these international investors who are not so exposed to this market mm-hmm. and they rely on us because they get this personal service from from one of our team members mm-hmm. and and it's easier for them to get interested about certain companies they they read quite a lot of business plans they see quite a lot of pitch decks and they see uh, or hear plenty of pitches but but they, what they are really looking for is, is some some kind of trusted advice that hey what are my options on investing in in smart, smart mobility area in in Helsinki? Uh, or, or, or it might be some something else. But, but but they are really looking for that, and they are really looking for that type of like an interaction with with us. And I think the more we are able to help these international investors find these companies, and potentially also your company, mm-hmm. uh, more investments we are seeing in this area. Mm. Mm. So is, is there like a, so some place the startups can go and register and submit all their details to get matched to investors? Yeah, you can actually find it. Uh, yeah. 
at our website on under in, investor services so so just just kind of reach out and you'll you'll find the right people and contacts i, I think it will be much more easier and, and then we can initiate the dialogue and it's it's uh, I think this ecosystem works in in a rather nice manner that that everybody kind of like keeps on telling that hey there's this person you should contact and, and so so it's rather easy to actually get get uh, get uh, companies uh, on on board and but what we are really looking for uh, as as said earlier that that, that the companies who are who are kind of eligible for the international investments already that that you are really looking for Typically, it's, it's one, one million rounds plus what, what, what the inter- investors are looking for. And, and if you are really kind of early stage startup, that, that perhaps it's, it's not always the easiest easiest way. Perhaps it might be the easiest route of kind of like developing and finding the product market fit and, and developing kind of like the, the, the financing options you can have locally with, with the, let's say, government funding or, or uh, lo- local seed funding or whatever. And once you are kind of like there, that, that you start feeling the traction might be there then, then you start really preparing for the for the next phase of kind of like attracting international investments as, as well mm-hmm. so once startups are ready to raise a million plus <laughs> they should come over to helsinki business hub and you know get much to the pool of investors you have in your definitely definitely yeah, we are eager, eager to help and, and this same applies i have to say that uh, that we have we have been serving these international investors from finland perspective as, as well because the the logic has has been that, that once you have have this type of like database of Finnish companies, it's more valuable for these international visas who have not heard about Finland or Helsinki <laughs> to actually talk with us because then they get get to know that what's happening in Finland and and majority of these investments come to Helsinki anyhow. So mm-hmm. so all of the interesting companies and people are still any any anyhow over here. So so it, it makes us uh, uh, much more better partner for these international VCs and, and corporate VCs where we have the understanding of what's happening in Finland. But, but we, of course, we are eager to get the, get the companies already in, in Helsinki anyhow. So, so, mm. so they will end up because of, of the talent anyhow over here. I think that, that this, the international community in, in Helsinki is so great these days that you can actually make international business and you can really build, build up these great companies much more easier than any, any other place in Finland. Nice. That's that's really great to know. Okay, we are we are gradually coming to an end. Of course, one hour is not really an, enough time to you know digest and go deep, but it, I think it's it's sufficient enough to get like the basics. Then people can reach out. I will check through the audience in case there are some questions, so we can take from the yeah. audience. Uh, hmm. Okay, we have another question from Natalia again. In your experience, uh, will some foreign VC refuse to invest in a company when the team is monocultural, like lack of diversity in the team? Does it affect the funding? That's a really tricky question because you you never know about that. But I, I personally would actually actually suggest that that this diverse teams and and i have i have already thought about kind of like how important this is to have really top-notch teams not uh, indi- kind of like a bunch of individuals but also teams and and more diversity you have more more you are able to kind of like the make the story that this might be really something and i i think that everybody who has has been kind of like developing businesses and, and de- developing teams can see the value that that you need to have have a really different different people working in in, in the teams and i i think that the, there's some some learning in it and and it might be the reason why some of the companies actually do fail and might be the reason why why they won't get investment if you have only people with similar kind of backgrounds so so more more you have different angles to it and, and sometimes it's, it's about kind of like having the sales and marketing people on board or sometimes it, it might be the diversity having people with different cultural backgrounds or, or kind of like these nationalities because you you might understand much more better what is relevant in china or what mm-hmm. is relevant in australia or, or singapore mm-hmm. and it's really hard to actually kind of get that type of understanding if you just have been living in finland for all of your life and uh, sometimes you it's, it's better to reach out for for this type of like talent and, and get, get them on board and give give the kind of like a Give them the opportunity of telling telling how does it actually work in India or wherever they, they have come from. And I, I think that the, if I would, would be an investor, I would be really looking at the as multi-talented, multicultural teams that are able to work together and, and really perform and, and have have this right ambitious level level of kind of making 
making something really big and mm. and that's the kind of kind of companies i would really look for and and, and invest in, the, in those teams and at the same time uh, keeping in mind that there's always this exit path somewhere somewhere <laughs> that they, that there's somebody else who might be actually li- li- liking this team as well mm, mm. wow so the university plays a big role yes that's definitely. really good to know <laughs> okay uh we have a question from kunal right so the, uh although miska can answer this from a perspective okay it's not it's not a, a question it's more like a comment adding to what natalia asked but i think in general like diversity plays a, a big role but yep. the more diverse your team the better but you know the more work you need to understand their culture communicate effectively of course like the payoff it's it's really good you just need to you know pay attention, invest more time and getting to understand different cultures so you can work together. Because yeah. I think like the comfort zone is basically, you know, find people from your city or region and you know each other, you know what you've been doing. So it's easy to understand. Yeah. But going a bit outside of your comfort zone, like you said, is something that uh, like interests the investors. So if that's what the investors are looking out for, and if it's something that will help you build your business, why not? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And we at Helsinki Business Hub are really prime examples of that. Out of our about 30 people, we have, I think, nine different nationalities. And it works just great. I, mm. I, I would really stress out that this is, this is the best possible team where you have diff- people with different backgrounds. And you really kind of can see things from different perspectives. And, and once you have this type of like a culture already in the oh. company, so it's, it becomes natural that, that there's always this type of like international angle on everything mm-hmm. and that, that's the same same thing I, I would really love to see that that the, these startups just found kind of founding members even that, that they find each other and they understand that i we need, do need different type of like a backgrounds and do need people with di- diversity and 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 when you start building your startup from from scratch with those ideas you are actually kind of like executing something more interesting for, for investor perspective as well. Okay, uh, I think there are no other questions from the audience. Yes, so we can go over to our own list. We are gra- 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 gradually coming to an end of the fireside chat. So it's basically uh, more like rounding up. In, in, in terms of tips and, you know, advice or guide because since you've been in this uh, field or in this ecosystem for a long time of course you've mentioned a lot a lot of things which startups can learn from or which they can you know stick to if 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 you are to like just choose three to five top advice or tip or guide mm-hmm. that you give to a startup just to ensure that you know they are in the right track to securing international in, in investment what would those be it could be just one, it could be three, but uh, just as much as you can go. I, I can kind of summarize it that the first first of all, this is very classical, think big, that, that really think about big in everything and, and how you are going to change the world and, and how you are making it for the, for the global markets. And and I think that's really, really kind of like very normal. But, but, but another, another angle and, and the, I would like to bring in is that think big or from exit perspective as well. Think big that how to monetize on this company mm. because that's what international investors are looking for and, and you need to understand that and you need to kind of like play the game with, with them because that's that's what they bring in money and what they are expecting is more money backwards and and that's 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 really really something that, that you are you're, you have to consider yourself as a vehicle that will actually kind of like generate value create new value and and that's really important. And the third third topic is, is we're coming back to this type of diversity and 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 the teams. I think in the in, when you are trying to make a a company successful or great in in global business, you just have to have a, a diverse team, and you really have to kind of start building that that up from the scratch so that that you have. A, great understanding how, what does it actually take to scale up in, in global markets and how do you actually reach out for them and what kind of company culture you are, you are actually developing from the day one, having just a couple of people and that, that you have really small founding team, do take that already kind of like a first stepping stone on, on developing something really kind of like a diverse team, mm-hmm. which is able to kind of like 
go in any market of the, of the world because you have this this culture that that you can actually work with people with different cultures and it's the communication is always in in, in a language that everybody understands mm. uh, for example and, and and really kind of like a think big the think 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 the exit and, and think think it kind of like a the diversity I, I think those are the three key themes i would really like like keep in mind when, when building up the startup mm, nice uh, does Helsinki Business Hub offer more like a consultation service for startups to get to learn more and introduce yes, them more to the services? Some, some, sometimes we, when we have had this type of like pitching sessions or, or, or kind of like events that, that we have been helping helping people of kind of like how to pitch and uh, perhaps some of our people have been, have been giving some guidance or, or help or, or, or or even even critic for some of the companies, but that's not really a service what we what we do. And, and there's a, there's other other people in, in town who are really good at that. But like Nuco Helsinki is just a great bunch of people who are they, especially if you're if you're kind of like founding a, a startup, I just go reach out for those guys because I think they are so great on on helping you of of developing the, the kind of like first pitch and then and developing a team and, and really kind of like taking you for the for the first hurdle and, mm -hmm. and that's that's where they are really professionals and I, I think that they are really doing great work on that that we are seeing some of the companies that that have have arisen from Helsinki are just because you get things right in the beginning mm -hmm. and, and and our our angle is mostly about kind of like helping the foreign investors and of course like once we see that the the, the local products over here being the startups or the ecosystem or whatever uh, is is needing some help. We try to help them and coach them, but but we don't have the resources of, of really doing that. Mm. So so that's that's our angle. That that that, that we, we try try to kind of keep in mind that who is the customer and and, and the product is the is the, is the local local ecosystem and, and of course like you need to do some product development, but most of the focus is on the customer anyhow. Mm -hmm. Nice. So for Nuco Helsinki, like if, you, if people are looking for more like practical help and you know, guide through then probably there will be a better uh, place to, to to go in that sense definitely and i i think that they are doing just great on, on kind of like helping the local companies to actually especially on the startup private they have really great team on, on working so so reach out for them they are they are eager to help help especially when, when you are in a phase where you're kind of like a in the really early phase where Perhaps even before you have any seed investments, these are the people who can help you on. on. They, they know they have seen it so much, uh, so many times, and uh, they have they have the experience and they have, they have the tools and that is all. So, so do reach out for them. Mm. Okay, M maybe next our next event we should have someone from <laughs> Nico Helsinki, you know, so they can come and tell us all the available resources and ways they can help. The, the yeah, I, I, I can promise that they can help on every, everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, do you have like some 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 final words uh, for like the startups or the entrepreneurs? Because from from, from my side, uh, we've exhausted all the questions that we have here. And while I check if there's any questions from the audience, do you have some final words you would like to leave with our audience? Yeah, uh, of, of course. Kind of like for the all of the kind of like the international, uh, let's say, companies and uh, people, just hey, come to Helsinki. We, we are here to help you guys. And and and, and we, I, I really do mean it. And and having the, the having this being in this environment, I think there's something right we have been able to do over here. And, and you should come and check it out. And uh, we are eager to help. And uh, we are eager to show you around. And 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 Slush is really good starting point for so many different companies and. and people to actually come come and get exposed to this ecosystem and what's happening we are there with, with hoodies or, or suits or what, whatever but we are, we are definitely there and you you get get to see us and i, I think that that's that's really some, something that uh, that for the local startups what, what i would like like to kind of tell that hey please be proud of, of and, and tell about the story you, where you come from mm -hmm. i think that's that's something that the it's it's nasty to say, but the Swedes are somehow sometimes much more better at telling that hey we come from Sweden. But but hey let's let's start kind of like changing this that we come from Helsinki. We are making really great companies over there, and we are by the by the way coming from Helsinki. And I think that that gives gives the kind of like a boost for this ecosystem as, as well that you have a, have a a brand that you can attach to, and and if you are part of this this story which is happening over here in Helsinki. And I, I think that's that's really helping the local ecosystem as well as the companies because once you have this this type of like feeling that, that there's just so many good things coming from Helsinki and now we have this yet another Helsinki startup coming to it let's invest in, in those and let's let's see what 
what what is this stick it all about and mm-hmm. i i think we can play this game together and 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 and, and everybody can benefit from that mm. all right we have one last question from margarita we, we still have some time so we can take take that is it important from investors point of view how the startup is doing ma- marketing how their website looks how their social media engagement is and all that definitely and it's uh, i i think once you kind of start digging and start understanding that this what is this this investment opportunity all about people actually start really exploring how does that actually look yeah. like and, and uh, numbers are important sometimes that, that what what kind of like uh, the market exposure what 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 what's the traffic on your website or or, or click through rates and, and and all of that kind of metrics that you can actually show that, that okay we started in in june and now it's go picking up and at, at this pace and, and everybody can start doing the math so 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 it's not really about how does it actually look but what how you can measure and how you ma- can make the case that this might be something interesting there might be something really valuable on 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 this these these people and, and how they are doing marketing and, and mm. marketing is is really art that that no it's not not so easy to actually and if somebody is able to find a new angle and you are able to kind of piggyback on some trends and and get exposure and use the media and, and, and use the social media investors are interested about that so mm. there's always there's something that, that you are doing something really different but right you will get more traction you will get more interest on, on that mm-hmm. nice uh okay i think that's that's all for now there are no more questions what does it mean okay yeah okay uh thank you so much miss Scott, for your time i think it was really uh a valuable se- se- session and uh for the audience the recording will also be av- available so in case you want to go back and make some reference and listen to some of the things that he has said and uh at, at this point in time uh I would like to first thank uh, you, audience, for being here with us, because if you are not here, then the event wouldn't even be holding. And uh, secondly, I would also like to thank our Spaces for giving us this amazing place that we are having this our hybrid event now. Also, uh, our partners from Kenya, Startup Grand in Kenya, for you know cross-promoting and being engaged with, with, with this event. And uh, my team also for putting together this event, all the marketing activities and the live stream and recording and all of that. Really proud to have you guys. And finally, to our amazing spe- speaker, thank you so much for your time. We 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 really appreciate you, you know, bringing time from your schedule and coming to share your experience and tell us more about the service of uh, Helsinki Business Hub and how the startups can actually uh, benefit from that. It's an honor to have you, and uh, I hope you actually had a good time with this fireside chat. I had a lovely time, and thank you for the opportunity, and thank you for the whole team. It has been great, and 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 for the audience that let's keep in touch and uh, let's let's really kind of work work together on on, on really great creating these great companies and 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 getting the international investments to them. So it's, it, there's plenty of opportunities. So let's reach out for them. Nice. All right, with that being said, thank you guys for your time. And uh, that will be the end of the fireside chat. Stay tuned for our next events. Uh, all our events happen on the last Wednesday of the month. We already have speakers till the end of the year. So next month, we're going to have another fireside chat. Stay tuned, read our newsletters, follow us on social media so you can get an update on when we are going to have our next event. Thank you so much for your time and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. We are checking out from here. Bye bye. <laughs>